The branches of the tree before you cast ominous shadows in the moonlight. Shapes like spindly arms and crooked fingers spread across the path. A gust of wind makes the tree and shadow shift, accompanied by a creaking groan, and the grasping shadows seem to reach ever closer in the dark. If you liked that level of drama and wordsmithery, then I've got an interesting service for you called Describe, which provides descriptions just like that one of spells, monsters, locations, and people that you can either use as they are or take as jumping off points and inspiration for your own stories and descriptions, and you can find all of them with easy searches on their website. In the biz, this is called box text because descriptions normally appear in a nice box in adventures and one shots. Now, you wouldn't guess it by the way Describe is spelled, but they hire professional writers to produce this content, and I'm talking about it today because they're launching a Foundry module to make it even easier for you to use. Hey everybody, I just wanted to jump in real quick because I forgot to mention that this is my personal experience with the Describe module. I have not and will not be paid by anyone other than YouTube for the creation of this video. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. They provide well over 150 sets of box text for free that cover things from dragons in their layers to the orchestration of a plane shift spell, all the way to a goblin with a coconut. If you go with one of their subscription plans, you'll get access to over 1500 box text, so whether you're just looking for some inspiration or you need a description with some gravitas for your BBEG's big spell, you should be able to find something to help you out. Whether you subscribe or not, you'll continue to get new content because one out of every 10 new box text will be released for free to everyone. An additional perk for subscribers is the ability to submit suggestions for what box text will be produced next. If a nice description isn't worth much to you without an accompanying map, they're also cooking up a new cartography feature that will include maps with box text describing the overall scene, as well as a number of different points of interest around the map, and they even have support for variations of a map with the text of the descriptions changing to match. If that sounds interesting to you, let's take a look at how the module works. It comes to us courtesy of C.S. Wendrowski on Discord, who many of you are probably familiar with because of his slew of modules and system work, as well as starting the League of Extraordinary Foundry VTT developers. Once you've got the module installed, there's not much that you have to do. It will pull down all the free content from Describe right away and place it in nice folders in your journal tab. We'll take a look at accessing the premium content in a moment, but for now, let's look at these folders. The Describe content folder contains a bunch more folders so you can find what you're looking for, like a spell or a magic item. And when you open one, you'll see this very nice looking replacement for the normal journal view with the description front and center. Don't worry though, all your non-Describe journals will still look and work as you expect them to, and you can even drag and drop both Describe content and nearby journal entries onto maps, just like regular Foundry journals, while keeping their custom display. You'll also see at the bottom this nearby section, which has clickable links to the categories that this box text is in. Since it's an Eldritch Blast, it falls under Evocation and Warlock, and if we click on one, we can see all the other box texts in that category, which you can also click to open. The eagle-eyed amongst you have probably already noticed there's also a Describe nearby folder, which contains all the categories that have content written for them. So if you wanted to see every box text about cities, you can easily do that and scroll through until you find something that strikes your fancy. If the free content just isn't enough for you and you've signed up on Describe.com, linked in the description, for any of their subscription levels, you can jump over to the settings tab and press the Describe login button, which will let you log into your Describe account, and then you can hit Describe Sync to start pulling in all of your new content or to check and see if there's anything new whenever you want. Lastly, we can take a look at how the cartography feature will work in Foundry. We already saw a bit of how it worked on the website, but in Foundry, the maps will be added into your scene directory, as you would expect, with the journal entries placed on the map based on what they describe. For example, here in Dorian Cemetery, you can get descriptions of the statues, the gravesite, and even the content of the individual headstones. I don't know about the rest of you, but if my players asked me about the individual headstones in a graveyard, I would be both utterly unsurprised and totally unprepared to answer them. So this level of detail could be very helpful, especially for those of you who are uncomfortable with or are just new to improv a scene. And that's kind of where I think Describe really makes sense. For folks who have run a pre-written adventure like Troubles in Otari or Lost Minds of Fandelver and are looking to try running a homebrew game but would like either some 
guidance on writing scenes, are looking for inspiration, or that want to have a safety net in case they get to something they don't feel prepared for. I know that when I was getting started, the concept of not being ready for something the players did was really scary for me, and if you feel the same way, I'd grab this module, look through some of the box text, and see where they take your imagination, and if it feels helpful for you, then there's a whole lot more content where that came from. I hope that this video was helpful, and or at the very least minorly entertaining, and that if you liked what you saw, that you head over to Describe's site in the Foundry module repository to give it a try. I've been incredibly busy over the past few weeks, so I'm sorry I haven't gotten more content out, but I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things and showing y'all some of what I've been working on. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one.